Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Faychick 777 and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for lavish laces. Now since this is the month of December and we all know that the month of December holds the yummy, wonderful, magical Christmas holiday, I decided to actually do a Christmas project. I know, a little bit out of the norm, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to move my sign out of the way, show you what I came up with, and here we go. So what I created was this cute, and I'll tip it up to show you, this cute wooden ornament. Now, I found this ornament. It was already like one of those pre-decorated ones at Michael's, and, you know, all their Christmas stuff 70% off or 75% off, which, you know, is kind of weird because it's not like an after-Christmas sale or anything. You know, it's not even Christmas yet. But anyway... Um, so I got it for like $5 and I'm like, well, that's kind of cute. And, um, you know, I can do something with that. And of course this ornament, and it, it even had this kind of, um, little wooden plaque on top of it. So I'm like, you know, I can remove that, change it all up. And that's what I've done. So this measures, um, at the widest width this way, just almost 12 inches. And then in this way measures a little over 11 and a half. So, you know, about a 12 by 12 project. Um, so let me see, I'm going to try and bring my camera up a little bit more, I think, and then I can tip this up to you so we can get a better look at it, okay? Sorry about that, all the jiggly movies around. So you can kind of get a look um, more close up this way of what I've done. Now the paper line I used was last year's paper line of die cuts with a view. It was like the Christmas combo stack. It was the, um, the heavier paperweight stack, almost like a card stock. Okay, so that's what I've got going on here. And everything I used, of course, reminded me of, you know, kind of believing in the magic of Christmas. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, because things do get covered up, obviously, is just show you the three, well, except the one, you can see it really well, but show you um, the three uh, laces. Actually, there's well, there's three, because one of them, Jazella gifted it to me, but there's four laces from Jazella. And then the flowers, uh, most of them are Wild Record Crafts, which also, which also come from her shop. Now, I use this um, shabby chic rosette trim. And I know it's supposed to be a flower trim, but the reason I used it, because, you know, on the ornament, um, you know, the bottom paper is like a snowflake mix. And this just kind of looked like a real fluffy, you know, kind of fun, wintry, you know, sort of snowflake type thing. So, you know, that's what I imagined it to be. And I thought it, it could kind of sort of pass for like a fluffy, shabby snowflake. So that's why I used this white rosette trim. And I went with whites and creams and then, of course, reds on the project. Um, on the top of that... Um, rosette trim behind it I use this lace facing this direction upward a beautiful like um, fancy white scallop lace and then on the bottom facing downward underneath the rosette trim was this really pretty um, crochet type lace I think I got it nope that was the right side crochet type lace and I love it because I mean it's just as thick as it looks I mean the 3d um, you know texture of it and everything and this is a beige color really pretty okay um so let's come back up now obviously yes this um project i did texture never fear i came back to it i mixed like a cream colored acrylic paint with sand and i textured the entire back of course and the sides and then i came a little bit around probably about a half inch on the front because i knew that i wanted to cut my paper just a little bit shorter so that you know kind of the edges around the edges showed with that texture paint now the top of this um, wooden ornament it came with this is actually a metal piece a metal topper like on a normal ornament you know it has like that kind of metal uh, crinkly top and then it usually has a handle on it this did have a handle but I took it off for now and I'll show you what I think I'm going to use as a handle on this but what I did is I just painted the metal there with um, the acrylic paint mixed with sand okay this at the top, which I did, you know, on all my embellishments, I put some of that acrylic paint and sand on top of it. And then I used um, the glossy accents and some German glass glitter kind of on tops of, you know, areas of the embellishments and stuff. And so that's what I've done up here. Okay, it's just a German glass glitter. 
right? And um, the top paper is just this beautiful little script Christmas paper, Have a Merry Christmas. The bottom, as I showed you, was like a snowflake, and this snowflake is um, glittered. There, you can kind of see the glittery shining off of it. It's a glittery paper. And then on the front, I use kind of this um, diamond red shape pattern. And of course, as you can see, and as I do, distressed all my edges, sewed everything. Now, I didn't ink the edges of my paper because on this particular project, you know, when I distressed it, it kind of gives it a white distressed edge. And I wanted to leave it like that since there was whites and creams and it's kind of a wintry type project. At the very tip top, I just used some sheer ribbon from my stash, kind of hot glued it up right against that uh, metal cap there. And then I just kind of pleated it down and glued it and then down around and glued it underneath the ribbon. Now what you see here, before I started adding Jazella's beautiful laces and trims, this is like a real pretty netting that I got from Joann's. It's kind of like a diamond print netting. I don't know if you can, it feels like it's really dark in here. It probably is because it's nighttime, eh? Um... There you go. Now you can kind of see it's just a real pretty and it's it's really stretchable. So what I did is um, kind of taped it around the underside of the paper, stretched it and taped it and then glued the paper down. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but since I stretched it out, it's really wide here at the edges and then it kind of goes in and then back out wide again. Okay, and then, you know, put all of Jay Zella's beautiful laces on top. I left the netting on that uh, rosette trim. Okay just because it kind of gives it the shabby chic feel. And so then the shape of this wooden piece that was on an ornament, you know, I pried it off, I painted the front and back of it with acrylic paint and then glued the paper on the front and then glued it up over the top of the laces. It's that real pretty ornate kind of shape that goes like this, okay? And um, everything I chose, all the embellishments, you know, believe in the magic of Christmas like the rosette trim reminded me of snowflakes um, this um, prima um, ornate corner piece I stuck in the middle that to me it just kind of reminded me of um, kind of like old time maybe kind of design or something that you might maybe see on like the side of Santa's sleigh let's say just the shape and the design of it kind of that old time you know sleigh feeling so that's why I chose that um, then of course, this is a believe word. Um, I got it from Michael's actually P got it for me, sent it in my, uh, recent rack. Hey P. Um, and I loved it because you know, it's cursive then print. I thought it just was really cute there. Now you can see a little bit better, really cute for, uh, this ornament here. And what I did is I gessoed it first and then I used Tim Holtz white picket fence crackle paint. You can kind of see the crackling on there a little bit. Okay. And then on top of that, I, I kind of adhered it over the L. I, this is a Prima Resin Angel, as most of us know. I'm trying to keep adjusting my lighting. It's kind of like I feel like it's shiny in spots and dark in spots. So uh, pardon me. One moment, please. <laughs> um, and then underneath, the, oh, and then on the Believe Word, I added just like three little tiny little gems there. Okay, and then I did... Um, Added some of the, like the acrylic paint. Added some German ja glass. German jazz. <laughs> German. Now I can't even say it. German glass glitter um, in areas around on this believe sign. Okay. Underneath, I added a cute little. It's just recollections. Teeny tiny pom pom trim. And then this beautiful lace trim underneath. This is a um, lace that Jay Zella gifted me when she uh, made me my rack, and she. Um, made a book of laces for me. I actually cut into one of the laces. I know! There was a lot of it. That's the whole reason I cut into it. Otherwise, I would have, like, saved it forever. Um, and then underneath, I added, this is one of those white little pre-made picket fences from uh, Joann's, I believe. Okay. And then over in this corner, underneath our little sleigh ornament, <laughs> is um, a bunch of flowers and things from Wild Orchid Crafts, the cream color, and then, um, I'm going to, sorry, it's got a little dark, but so you can see it, a cream color, and then white color flowers uh, from Jazella's shop, and then the little crochet flowers are I Am Roses. I believe this little flower is from a Recollections pack I got. Um, and then I added one of those little Prima heart-shaped metal gears. Thought that was kind of cute. Kind of reminded me of like maybe, you know, um, 
um, like a wheel of something, a spoke, a kid's wheel. I don't know. Something to do with Christmas. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. It was cute. I put it in there. Um, I added some little uh, gems here and here and down here. Added German glass glitter on those. Over here to the left, this is a little Prima resin clock. Added some Prima metal clock hands. This is just a white metal frame from my stash. Okay, and then added some little white brads in there, and I just kind of tipped it on top of the clock. You can see how dimensional it is. See, it's not laying flat. It's kind of tipped on top of the clock and the flowers. You know, clock representing time, believing in the magic of Christmas. You know, Santa's almost here with the clock hands. I made it work. I know. And then this little, um, this is just a little uh, tag, and this is from last year's Pink Paisley collection, their little uh, package of tags from the city sidewalks, okay, from that collection. Of course, added my little XO right underneath here, and then down at the bottom, I kind of hooked it underneath on the fence, okay. I had this cute little um, chandelier-looking um, um, it's not real crystal, you know, it's just acrylic gem. Added some German glass glitter on it. I added this particular key, and this is a key that uh, P gifted me, because it just looked like an old time, like, you know, Santa key, like a sleigh key or something like that. And then I added a little jingle bell, of course. Gotta have a jingle, it's the magic of Christmas, right? Okay, so there's just my um, little, well, it's not little, large 12 by 12 ornament. And I think what I'm going to do is to hang it. This was made for me by Barbie. She's Scrap and Barb here on YouTube. Hi, sweetie. Um, and I think it's going to be really cute if I um, take this little clip, because I tried it out, to hang this with since this is metal and there's like a space the way it goes on you know just kind of clip it right up here in the top and then I've got a it's kind of hard to see but it will hold and I've got a little cute heart hanger for my ornament so I think that's how I'm going to hang it I think that is super cute. So thanks to the beautifulness of products from Lavish Laces and some wonderful gifts from a few friends of mine, I was able to make this wonderful Believe in Magic wooden Christmas ornament. Um, there will be a link down below, of course, to Lavish Laces Etsy shop and a link to my blog for some close-up photos and then direct links to the products I used. Merry Christmas, everybody. Love you all. Mwah. Thanks for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.